Brianna Ray from FreeIY here to bring you another super fun video. Today we're going to be doing something that I personally have never done before, and that is trying out handmade paints from Etsy. I have been getting very into the supporting small businesses vibe, and I saw some really cool watercolor paints showing up in my ads, and I was just really interested to see what kind of quality they were like, and if I thought that they were any better than any other paints that I might already own. So I got these from a seller on Etsy. I'm super excited to open them up. These came in samplers, which is why it is so tiny, uh, because I did just kind of want to sample a little bit of some different items and provide just maybe a little bit of a review you and maybe give you guys some inspo on uh, where to get your next set of paints. <laughs> these paints are not just regular paints, there is a specific type. These are supposedly, if I read correctly and if I remember correctly, I will correct myself if I'm wrong, but these are watercolor paints um, and they do kind of have like a duochrome metallic like finish to them, I guess is the word I want to go for, which reminds me a lot of these this super janky palette, but beautiful palette that I actually got from Five Below not too long ago. And these are iridescent and pearlescent paints. So I think I have a couple of those options in here as well. Um, one of these is a discontinued item and one is a sampler of a larger pack. So I'm very excited to open these up. We're gonna do some swatches and uh, we'll see what I think. I'm excited. I am going to elect to do this video in a voiceover style going forward. Um, so I'm going to get to unboxing and swatching and I'm gonna swatch on black paper and white paper because I'm very interested in seeing the difference. And with that said, let's just jump right into it. I have two sets in here that I wanted to test out, this pearl color shift as well as a holographic set. Now going through, we can see that our pearl color shift set has six different colors in it and cost me about $8. The second set is discontinued from this person as far as uh, selling the full set goes, but it does have nine different colors in it and on a discount it came out to about $4.80. So actually getting into these lovely items, they're packaged so beautiful. I just, I'm so excited to try these out. They are fantastic looking. I think I'm actually going to kind of start off by focusing on this watercolor set and really testing it out in some different light. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. and just dive right in. I was really nervous about possibly getting some, I guess, residue all over the place or how well they would stick since they were just kind of these dots on a card, but they actually held up pretty well. I do believe after some further testing that these are sealed with something on top, so you do kind of have to get through that layer to get to the paint. Obviously, you can see the holographic glitter in all of these colors, and when I turn my flash on, you can see it even more. It is absolutely stunning. I love the way that these look underneath this harsh lighting, uh, and of course this is a trick that I learned from Simply Nail Logical. I'm going to get started by swatching, like I mentioned, on black and white paper with this round fine touch watercolor brush. I also have a nice set of room temperature water here, and I guess it's just time to dive in. So I have all these different colors and I just wanted to get them on this one set, so I'm going to try to organize them in the same way that they're laid out on the card on each of these sheets. I'm starting off here with this top HG1, which I believe is holographic one, and just trying to get through. This is of course before I realized that there was a layer on top that kind of sealed it in, but you can see that the color comes off on the brush even very, very beautifully. But of course when I was putting it down on the paper, it wasn't quite as notable as I would have liked. Um, I did try going over it with a couple of layers and really uh, smacking it on there, uh, but I didn't want to oversaturate it with water. Um, either way, as I kind of kept going through these, I thought they turned out all right. I was just, at this point I was accepting the fact, hey, they're glitter. They're glitter with a little bit of pigment in them. They're not supposed to be super pigmented. But then of course, I realized right as I started on the black paper, I'd kind of gotten through that ceiling layer and everything started coming out super beautifully. And I was even more impressed than I was to start with. So you can really start seeing the colors coming out here. Um, the only real complaint I think I had about any of these is these kind of air bubbles that came into the dots so it it wasn't really a huge deal I just feel like I, I wish I would have had that even that little bit of extra product you can see there's a pretty stark comparison between the way that this looks on the white versus the black and I only wiped off a little bit of pigment in between each set you can see all the glitter all the color um, I just genuinely think it looks better on the black I don't know, there's something about it. Again, Simply Nail Logical 
taught me a lot about holographic pigments and I think black is 100% the way to go if you want to be using pigments like these, but they do look stunning on absolutely both types. I was really impressed with these and I can't even tell you how excited I am to start on the next set coming off of such a fantastic high. I cannot imagine why these were discontinued. On the top portion, I'm going to grab those duo chromatic colors here and we are going to unpackage and get started and just kind of talk about what each of these six color shifts shifts to. <laughs> But you can see just by bending it, this kind of blue turns into a like a magenta color. The green goes to a purple. This green goes to a blue, which isn't as obvious. This yellow goes into a green. This red to a yellow. And this like purple to an orange. I really liked these. I was really excited to get started on them. They have numbers 23 through 28 on them, it would appear. And once again, I'm taking that same brush and trying to make sure I break through that layer really well this time so that the colors show up great on the first swatch. And honestly, again, look at how beautiful that color picks up on this white paintbrush. It is stunning pretty immediately. Um, I wasn't, no I wasn't sure what to expect when I put this on the white. This wasn't it, um, though I did notice, and something that is super important to recognize is that they don't always look their best as soon as you put them down, especially on the white, but as they dry, they really start to take on that sort of metallic uh, pearlescent quality. I think when they're wet, they're kind of, I think the wetness is almost distracting from the holographic, or I guess the duochrome or color shift kind of element to it. But you can see, once again, comparing it from white to black, there is a pretty huge difference between the way the colors will appear. And here we go, from the paints to the swatches, and I'm still impressed. I can't lie. Obviously, the white may not show it as apparently as the black does, but you can still see the shift, and I do think this might still have some purpose with some white sheets of paper, but Honestly, the way that it looks on the black, I can't imagine why you would want to. The shift is so much more apparent. I could truly watch myself bend this piece of paper back and forth and back and forth all day and never get bored of how freaking cool these paints are. I'm so unbearably excited about the way that this looks. And honestly, I think I'm so excited about the way that these turned out that I would like to put them to the test up against another type of watercolor that I have loved for quite a while, and that is, of course, my Pearlescence from Five Below. Are these the greatest quality paints? Of course not, I know that. But I still think that they look really great, especially on white paper, so now I kind of want to do a black on black test with as close of a shade match as I can. Obviously these five below paints are not color shift, but these colors that I picked do match pretty well. So I'm starting off with this green, and as I was letting it dry, I noticed it was kind of losing its color as it dried, which is very contrary to what I noticed with these Etsy paints. So I'm going to do a two-stroke method here. The first stroke is going to have only one layer of color, the second stroke will have two layers of color, and then I'm going to move on to the Etsy paint. So breaking through that seal as much as I can, let's see how it looks. Oh come on, there's not even a comparison there! It is so, so obvious that the pigments and the colors and the materials that are used to make these Etsy paints far surpass these five below cheap paints. Even moving on to the next colors, after a while, as they dry, you see that these colors just start to kind of blend together. I almost can't tell a difference between the way that the green, the magenta, and the blue look, and the difference between the layers of the Etsy paints and the Five Below is, of course, stark to say the least. I'm obsessed, again, <laughs> turning it back and forth, showing this color shift. Um, it's so, so clear that the quality is really there with these handmade paints. It makes such a difference comparing the side by side there almost is no comparison i find it difficult to believe that i really loved these as much as i did and of course there might still be a purpose for them they might look really great on the white and we know that the etsy paints don't but really this picture i think shows it all off by itself these paints are unsurpassed in terms of quality and pigment. They are stunning to look at just on the cards and on the paper. I love them, a million thumbs up. I cannot recommend these enough. If you're looking for a new paint to kind of elevate the artwork that you're doing, I cannot recommend this enough. I believe this is by Iuli. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will leave the Etsy shop link in the description box below. And with the way that these look on the black, I really think this means it might be time to bring out some black canvas. 
I haven't actually painted on black canvas before, but if you want to tune in next week, you might see, oops, spoiler, you might get to see me paint that uh, piece of artwork I have on this back canvas here with these two different types of paint and see how I use them artistically. That is actually all I had for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again, and bye-bye.